Hey, it's your girl V Thirsty Pretzel. Welcome back to Disney Princess Challenge. You know what to do. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because I appreciate it and I appreciate you for being here. Also, if you get a second, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know every time I post a new video. And go follow me over on Twitch because I stream two times a week. We have a good time in the Pretzel Gang. We'd love to have you come hang out. So last episode, I took an unexpected route with my Disney Princess Challenge. I actually, before the episode started, had no intention for any of that to happen, but sometimes you just get an idea and you go with it. So last episode, our girl Alice had a fight with her dad and she kind of, I, she kind of ran away, but she also, she's a teenager, so she moved out and ran away, but she also had already graduated high school and we need her to be doing things. So she went on a family vacation, um, but then she got sent home early. Sorry. Then she got sent home early because she was mean to the um, butler at the vo vacation place. So her mom sent her home early. And then when she was supposed to be on punishment, she had a house party. And, <laughs> and um, what else did she do? She had a house party and there was something else bad that she did that she shouldn't have done. She just had her boyfriend over. She had all kinds of things happening. So her dad was pissed and came home and told her off, rightly so. And so she left and took some of the money from her parents, which I will get her to pay back. And she bought this little lot house in Mount Komorebi and brought her spaceship with her because why not? So this is the little house. I'll give you a tour. Very quickly, I actually changed the colors of the stuff in the house to blue because blue is kind of her color, especially light blue. So we have these this bedroom slash kitchen. It's a it's a studio apartment. It's a kitchen slash bathroom the uh, slash little bathroom area here slash bedroom slash dining room slash everything. So this is where she's going to be living for the foreseeable future. And actually, immediately, she's pretty tired. So she's going to come inside and go to sleep. There's cracks in it. It's not the same as the castle. It's pretty beat up actually, but I kind of love that for her. Um, she's never been out on her own. So I think this is gonna be good. Actually, as a matter of fact, no trespassing disallow vampires, just in case. Cause you never know with the story, it can go any direction. So she has 4,500 simoleons left after she bought this lot and house. We're gonna have to, which means we're gonna have to get her a job. So that's first order of business. And the reason I moved her to Mount Komorebi specifically was because, let's have her have a fruit salad, because, oh, she's having an acne breakout, okay. Um, she's into rock climbing. It's one of the things that she's into that we're gonna have to get her to work on because as part of this challenge for Alice, she needs to go to all the hen lots. And one of the hen lots is at the top of Mount Komorebi. So yeah, we're working on a rock climbing and we're while we do that, why not just do it in Mount Komorebi so she doesn't have to keep flying here. So she is gonna do the couple things that I told her to do. And then we're gonna have her, I think. Oh, okay, well she can't, why can't you? Is it cause of the plant? or because of the fridge. Can you do it now? Now? Yeah, okay, it's because of the plant. Plus just the space here. She doesn't really know how to cook. Actually, now that I think about it, I think she's not cooking anything that can catch on fire, but before she does cook something that can catch on fire, I'm gonna get a smoke alarm. <laughs> just, you know, in case. But, um, yeah, we're gonna have her eat. She's gonna talk to herself, that's fine. We'll have her conceal her acne because that'll make her feel better. And then I think what we should do is go on a little bit of an exploring mission. So she's in the part of Mount Komorebi where like the train is, like kind of the city center. I think there's like a, up the bar is over here somewhere. Um, I think that, where is the bar? Is this the bar? There's a bar, somewhere there's a bar. So that's where she is. Um, but, what is this? This is a bar. Um, but I wanna go to the part that had, oh, that's a 
big house. Um, the part that has the rock climbing. So after she eats and does her little um, concealment of her acne, we'll have her go rock climbing for the morning. I'm sure her parents are gonna be calling her soon to say, where did you go? Cause she literally left in the middle of the night. She might actually, maybe she should text them. Um, send text to, if anything, she should text her mother. Um, yeah, text Ella. <laughs> I think it's probably a better idea. Why is she uncomfortable? Cheap fridge smell. Well, girl, you can't afford too much. She did grow up in a castle though. So like, I get why she's maybe a little snobby, but she's gonna lose that real quick. What? She's having a mood swing? Okay, well, yes, give yourself a pep talk. How about we give you a brisk shower? Because we need to get rid of that mortified, if anything. And then we're going to have her, maybe she posts, oh, yeah, maybe we have her post on Social Bunny. Is that a thing she can do? I think so. Social Bunny. Uh, open Social Bunny. Yeah, 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 yeah. Message? Why can't she post anything? She literally moved out. That's an experience. Tag a sim. Why don't you tag Chadwick in a flirty message? Call me Agnes Crumple Bottoms first, cause I'd hit on you. <laughs> that is terribly corny. That's okay though. How about you come, give yourself a pep talk again. It'll be fine, girl. That's a computer. Why did I think this was a freaking TV? Well, come play a game on your computer. I swear somebody was just outside her house, but I don't know who it could be. There is somebody outside her house. Who the hell is this? Oh, it's the welcome wagon. Okay, fine. Friendly introduction. Invite the neighbors in. This lady has food for me, so she can definitely come in. Friendly introduction. He thinks we're childish. We're literally a teenager. Like what? Why is everyone so sad? Oh, she thinks we're crazy. Give me this fruitcake. I don't think I like these neighbors very much. Are they relate? You two are related. Why are they so heartbroken? What is their problem? Are there no teenagers around here? Are you putting my fruitcake inside? Damn, these people making me sad now. Don't you make fun of my apartment. Better not. Thank you for coming. She is a she is a princess, so I think she'd be pretty polite. Okay, but don't eat my fruitcake though. You're she eat my fruitcake. I as soon as I said don't eat my fruitcake, she eats my fruitcake. Glad we got a chance to chat. Are you leaving? Does that mean you're leaving? No, you're gonna use my computer? No, you're not, because I'm locking it. Lock for everyone but household. There you go. We don't want to talk to them anyway, to tell you the truth. Is he going to leave? That would be good. If he wanted to leave, I'd be okay with that. Ma'am, we have a sink. Oh, our brother's here. <laughs> I feel like mom sent them. Okay, come here. Come here. Talk to brother. Invite him inside. I feel like mom knew who to send. We texted mom and she was like, Gus, go find out what's wrong going on with Alice. Give him a residence key. <laughs> Friendly. Ask for reassurance. Please do. These people need to leave my house. Send home. Send home. Send home. Don't ask due date. Give him a residence key. Yeah, please leave. All of you. I'm talking to my brother. 
And the fruitcake's going in the fridge. Yeah, give him a key. At least now Gus can visit us. Friendly. Ask about his day. Tell him why we moved out, you know. Become best friends forever. Oh my god, yeah, I want that. Where did he get dirty plates from? Oh, he's here. Aww. I love that. Show off her outfit. Friendly. Give him a little... See, now he's happy. She's getting there. Oh, let's do... Oh, I thought she was. Now she's crying. That's the cloud gaze. If anyone gets it, it's Gus. He's the creative. He's the writer. He's the nice sibling. Not that her other siblings aren't nice, but she's closest with Gus Gus. So, if anyone would understand why she needed to get away, I think it's it's Gus. I, is this how you cloud gaze, Gus? You just stand? What the f was that? Oh, look at her spending time with her big brother. I kind of love that. And she's having fun. So she's, once she's done with Gus, I think it's going to be a good idea to send him off. We'll send him home. And then we're going to go rock climbing like I planned. Now that she's feeling more motivated. I feel like she's feeling happy now. Once the mortif mortified mood lit goes away, she'll be happy. Okay, so I did this once when the pack came out. The rock climbing stuff, but I don't really remember. Equip climbing gear, yes. I don't really remember what you're supposed to do, really. So, but we're gonna find the mountain. Well, we'll find the climbing wall. And figure out... It's so far from where we are. Um, and figure out what we're supposed to do here. Check. Get. no. Nope. Learn about rock climbing and then learn about mountain excursions. That's the plan. This lady with her broken CC. It's those shoes. I need to get rid of them. Alice has equipped climbing gear. This will assist with difficult climbs. It wears out over time. It must be repaired or replaced. Yeah, we'll have her inspect climbing wall and then continuously. Breaking point climbing session? Meticulous climbing session. I guess meticulous. Why is this lady naked? Oh, I don't even know. She's not cold, is she? I feel like she should be, but she's not. Okay, what does it say? Oh, Ulysses messaged her. Elevate your outdoor activities and get a grip on fun. Head to the Yukamatsu neighborhood to start on, out on the small practice wall, which is this. Once you've got a hand hold on the basics, you can attempt some of the taller walls throughout the world. If you want a challenge, you may even attempt a mountain excursion and try to climb to the summit on Mount Komarebi, which is what we have to do to complete that part of her aspiration. Ready to challenge the mountain? Ascending to the top of Mount Komarebi is not something done on a whim. You must prepare if you hope to reach the peak in one piece. Prepare a good group of climbers. They should all have at least level six rock climbing skill to have a chance of scaling the largest rock walls. Purchase rock climbing equipment and choose to depart when mountain conditions are not icy. Slips and falls can be painful and even deadly. Pack a good amount of supplies for the trip. There will be no food on the climb. Shelter and locations to re relieve yourself will be limited. You should also stock up on deterrence for possible wildlife. Okay, so what we should do, which I didn't think about, is see if there is there's a dive club. See if there's a rock climbing club. If there's not, which there's not. Um, we're going to start a rock climbing club. It's going to be called the... Ooh, maybe I should find some... I'm going to... Um... We're going to call it... The Wonderland Climbers. It's going to be open invitation. 
the club hangout is going to be our house. Yes. And we need to have requirements. Requirements are skill. We need to have rock climbing at least level two. Because or else we're not going to be able to do anything with them. And then club, act club activities are going to be outdoor. Go rock climbing. Go hiking, I guess. Is there another one? I think that's it. And maybe fitness, fitness things. Um, ooh, hot tub, no. Um, hobbies. Shouldn't going to the gym or working out be one? Oh, workout, there it is. I was like, shouldn't that be there? So who can join? Oh, he's cute. Do this guy here. Um, she has a weird face. We'll do this lady here. How many people have to be on our rock climbing club? You can't come because your CC's broken. Sorry. <laughs> ah, okay. Perfect. Oh, we need a picture. Um, I don't know. I guess this one? Oh no, maybe the diamond. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so well, she's gonna climb and I'm hoping we can get everyone to climb. Actually, can we start a gathering? Stay here. So they're on their way here to climb with us, which is gonna be good. Cause we need to know what level they are at rock climbing. Oh, that's her wife. Okay, well that's good. And this guy's a teen and this girl's a teen. Actually, I don't know what their pronouns are, so. I'll just say that they are teenagers. What? Yes, I'm wearing my successful climb is high. That's good. How is this her climbing gear? We need more better. We need better winter stuff. I'm going to have to get her before we go on our actual mountain excursion. She's going to have to have full on like stuff. I'm going to have to research. Oh, her brother's here. Of course, he's coming to check on us because yeah. He's like, oh no, I just wanted to come to Mount Kamarebi to see, you know, like the snow. And she's like, yeah, right. She's like, you don't like snow, you liar. <gasps> she did it! Yeah, girl. Look at you being all cool. How are you gonna get back down? Do you walk down or you climb down? Come talk to your brother, who does not look pleased to be here. I'll tell you that much. She successfully climbed up. Climbed up? Yeah, that's right. Less talk, more chalk from rock climbing. She's not actually currently in a club gathering. Because I don't know what they're doing. I mean, she might as well end the gathering because none of them are here. Are you coming back down? Oh yeah, she walked down. There you go, talking to your brother. He's like, what are you doing here, Alice? <laughs> He's embarrassed, why is he embarrassed? <laughs> Discuss embarrassing mood. Aww. Practice climbing session, please. Please and thanks. We're gonna send him home. Or I guess he can watch. It's getting kind of dark, though. And she's getting hungry. I think he went home. She's out here climbing by herself. This is bad conditions to be climbing, girl. Who is? Why does David Valentine know about that? Like, how does he know Ivy? We might maybe need to go home. She's level 4, 56%. I need to figure out what how she gets how we go on the mountain like you know how we go on mountain excursions because I wanted her friends to go with her but none of them are into rock climbing okay let's go home 
We're gonna go home because she's kind of hungry. Hold on, save. Okay, she's home, and of course her brother is also here. But we're gonna come use the bathroom. Nope. Come on, girl. Nope. Use the bathroom. Then you can have get leftovers. And you actually need to go to bed. So maybe Gus Gus goes home. I mean, I don't mind him hanging out, but she kind of needs to sleep. You know? She's gonna come to sleep when she's done. She feels pretty good. Besides the fact that she, like, was hungry. We can take her climbing gear off, I think, now. No? She has spoiled food. Do pre- I didn't do pre-climbing stretch or chalk her hands or none of that stuff. Oh, gosh. I should take off her climbing gear. How do I take it off? Yeah, take it off. He's still here. Hello. There you go. Eat your food. Where is it? Okay, this gotta go in the garbage. Where is the food you just had? Oh, you're getting more. Okay, that's fine. This milk, is it good? I bet it's all spoiled, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Look at all the money we're getting. She got a voodoo. Oh, she got it from the humor and hijinks. I'm like, where did she get a voodoo doll from? Okay, I think you should go home, Gus. She kind of has to go to sleep. We still need her to get a job, too. I didn't forget. We need to look for work. Find a job. When she wakes up, we'll see what she can do that will still allow her to climb. Because she needs to make money. She can't just be sitting around not making money. Luckily, she doesn't have any rent on this house because she managed to buy it. It was only 6,000 simoleons. Um, I think it was maybe 7,000 simoleons, if I remember. I don't remember. I need to hit save is what I need to do. Okay, let's see what kind of job she can do. And then when, after we do that, she's gonna text Chadwick, her boyfriend. Cause we haven't spoken to him this episode yet. Okay, so she can be a babysitter, which is from 6 p.m. to 12 a.m. Hmm. I mean, that could work because it doesn't really, $40 an hour is a lot. Um. That could work because she's not going to be climbing at 6 p.m. to 12 a.m. There's a barista, which is 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. Fast food, 4 to 9. That's only $18 an hour, though. So we can do manual labor. I don't think she'd be good at that. Although, if it's like building rocket ships like this says, then maybe she would because she actually is good at that. Um, retail employee, 6 to 10. That's not so bad. Simfluencer. 55 an hour, huh? Got a webcam? She does not. Drama club. We could get her a webcam. I don't think she'd want to be a simp... Whatever. A simfluencer. I don't think that's her vibe. She doesn't really like people. Um, So I'm thinking either retail employee, which is 6 to 10, or babysitter. Does she like kids? She's kind of childish, so her playing with kids kind of makes sense. But then also, does that mean she's off Monday through Friday so she only works Saturday and Sunday? That's not good. So maybe we do retail employee. Six to 10, I think that's good. We do that one. That can be her job. She's drinking some water, that's fine. Get some cereal. And it's 5 a.m. So I think we can actually call, we'll do a video call with her boo. Keep, I don't have her, I didn't get her a garbage. I keep putting this stuff in this sink because I'm hoping she'll break it to repair it because she also needs to work on her handiness. Speaking of, um, okay, we need to get her to what, what handiness level is she? She's handiness level three, so we'll have her read the handiness book, and then she also is rock climbing level four, so we'll have her read the rock climbing book. Which is where? I don't know. Where is the rock climbing book? She should have rock climbing two somewhere. Like, oh, yeah, rock climbing two. But where's rock climbing one? I don't know if this is the right one she needs to read. What? I'm sleeping. Call later. Okay, I'm sorry. 
I thought he'd be awake. I think he's still in school. I don't know, though. She's telling a story to herself, girl. What I was gonna say is I think we should invite out. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I'll say, no, I'm trying to think. Tomorrow's love day. So tomorrow we're going on a date with Chadwick. I think I know what to do. We're gonna invite McKenna, Ulysses, who is our Cheshire cat, and Ivy, who is our um, caterpillar, out to do karaoke with McKenna and Alice. They're going to be like, girl, why are you telling us you want us to meet you in Mount Cumberbatch? And she's going to be like, surprise, I moved out. I'm in my own house. And McKenna's going to be so jealous because she's the Red Queen and she will be our enemy, even though she technically is our cousin. But that's how it's going to happen. Okay, I just want her to get to, we also kind of have work, but I want her to get to rock climbing level five before she goes to work. Use the bathroom and then we're going to invite... Why is Gus Gus here? You should be at school, sir. Like you really, really, very much should be at school. I don't know if you know that. Gus, you need to go. Yeah, you should go. How did he just walk out the window? What kind of crazy crap is that? No, come on girl, finish the book. You got this, reread it. It's almost done. You almost have the skill I need you to have. You can do this. No, don't talk to yourself. Just read the book. Because she has work in like four, three hours. Two hours? Never mind. The karaoke thing's gonna have to wait till after she gets off work, I think. Ooh, Ella. Her mom's calling. We've been, we've been thinking about trying for a baby. Do you think we should do it? We want to, but we're not sure. Girl, no. You, mom, no, just because she moves out, she's trying to drive for a baby now. No, absolutely not. No, if I go back there, there's the baby. I swear, <laughs> they better not. I mean it, they better not even. Whoa, she's working an hour. That scared me, that football noise, the cheerleading noise, it always scares me. Okay, please just finish the skill for me and then take a quick, can't even take a nap because you have work. You got this, please just finish. You're so close, please. You got this girl. Oh no. <sighs> no, just gotta work. She doesn't look too happy about it, hold on. Work hard at your job. She's only there until 10, so. And then we'll have her come back and read the book. So I guess, see you in a minute. Ooh. Oh, she got a promotion to customer support and she's flirty. Why is she flirty? Moving on up, that's good. Um, Promoted to customer support. She will now make $48 an hour, good. 244 bonus, her next shift is Friday at 6 p.m. Okay, so that's perfect. What I'm gonna have her do is I'm gonna have her finish very quickly this book just to get to the rock climbing skill that I need her to get because she's literally one percentage away from five. Then we are going to invite out, like I said, her cousins. Yeah, girl. Okay, you can stop. We are going to travel. Yes, we're going to travel with um, McKenna, Ulysses, who's in his climbing gear, Ivy, and we'll see Chadwick tomorrow for Love Day, so we're not gonna invite him. Rock climbing level five has unlocked the climbing suit to wear, as well as ability to try a breaking point climbing session on the medium height climbing routes. See, that's what I'm saying. Where are the medium height climbing routes? Yeah, I wanna go to the karaoke lounge. That's where I wanna go. Do we want to sing karaoke or should we just go to the bar? Maybe we just go to the bar. Okay, we are here. Clink, clink, heroic, gentle person, gather round. Don your armor for night night, and get a sweet discount. Okay, we are going, to, look at her face. She's like, not about it. Why is she mad? It's personal from feeling hurt by someone. Who does she feel hurt by? Oh, okay, well, she is going to 
can I wish you could share news. Like that's one of the things I wish you could like share. <laughs> like I moved. That would be so fun. I wish that was something you could do. Well, she's gonna tell them. Share techie tips. She's just going in directly for a drink. She's still prepping for romance. She, she's talking to them. Saying how she moved. And they're going to be really excited for her. Oh, I wish you could like... Is that a thing? Trash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trash. McKenna. Oh, she's flirting with him! Oh, they have romance! He's like, yeah, I don't like my sister either. Are you kidding me? Does McKenna really think like that? I'm a bit caught off guard, but I'll talk with her. Oh, snap. We're starting drama. Okay, now let's go tell her about us moving. I don't know what's going on with this lady, but I like her hair. We're going to tell her about how we moved. How we have our own place. She's going to be kind of mad about it. Mock uncool adult. Is she an adult? She's not an adult. Oh, she's a young adult now. She aged up. She's not a teen anymore. Complain about parents. Uh, argue about music. No, don't apologize. We're arguing with her. Brush her off. She, she is not sympathetic to us. I didn't know she was sinister. Act up. I don't know where her shoes are. I definitely gave her shoes, but now she doesn't have shoes. We need her to hate us. I don't know how we're going to do that, but we need to do that. Did they leave? Or are they up? There's an upstairs. No, they're not up here. Interesting. Okay. Okay, well, let's order a drink. Uh oh. Order a drink? What her favorite drink? I don't know what her favorite drink is, but order it. We are not getting along. I only have to slightly get them to talk, and they normally will start fighting. I like her hair, too. She's like... McKenna is a little bit older than us, now that I remember that. Ooh. She dislikes us that much? <gasps> okay, so we can move on. Use a computer to cause mischief three times. Oh, we can definitely do that. She's leaving. We're having our drink, whatever that was. We came here and accomplished what we needed to. All right, let's go home because we definitely have work tomorrow and we need to go rock climbing some more. We need to work on that. So we're going to go home. Our cousins didn't stay. Well... Ulysses didn't stay past us telling him his news, and I think him and Ivy took off together. McKenna hates us. <laughs> she didn't hate us, but she very much dislikes us. Enough that we completed that part of our aspiration, so that's good. But, um, yeah. So I think I when she gets home, I will end the episode, because next episode is going to be Love Day, so we are going to break the news of our moving to Chadwick, and we're going to have a Love Day date with him. So there's going to be that. Yeah, I'm going to send her off to sleep. And I'm going to end the episode here. She actually looks pretty happy considering she has a job. She doesn't have as much money. And her house is kind of crappy. But she looks pretty happy to be out on her own. So I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye, pretzels. <laughs>